Guys, and welcome back for another short flow. Today, I'm going to do more of a skills and drills focus sequence, helping you build strength in the arms, wrists, and also in the abdominals, and eventually coaching you into figure of eight pose, which is an advanced arm balance posture. We're gonna begin by warming the body up, helping um, ignite the strength that you're gonna need, and also helping um, find the flexibility that you're gonna need for this pose. So come to the front of your mats in Tadasana, and we'll begin with a standing forward fold. So feet hip distance apart, lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground. Tuck the tailbone under, suck the navel back towards the spine, and think about lengthening through the crown of the head as you roll the shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in as you inhale, lift the hands up above the head, and as you exhale, hinge at the hips, keeping that length coming down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Think about bringing your chest towards your thighs and the crown of your head towards the floor. And if you want to, you can take ragdoll or plant your hands on the floor. Just let them dangle. With every inhale, see if you can find more length. With every exhale, fold deeper, drawing the chest further over those thighs. Take two more deep breaths here for me. Exhale, release the hands, plant them on top of the shins, and we're going to inhale to find halfway lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. Find that nice parallel flat back position with the upper body against the floor. And then exhale, see if you can fold deeper again, and take three more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to dasana, exhale, release the hands, and relax. Hi, lunge. So if you come to the front of your mats, we're going to take a big step back with the legs. That steady stance, remember, so if you think about having train tracks on your mat, the wider the train tracks are, the steadier your stance is going to be. So find your positioning. You're going to inhale to lift the hands up above the head, and into that lunge position. Care the ankle just make sure you can see your big toes past your knee and you should be okay and then think about engaging that back leg so you're pulling the leg away from pulling the knee away from the uh, floor lifting the thigh so you should feel quite strong in the thigh shooting that heel back and just hold for five four three two one and then inhale as you step forward and then we'll repeat on the other side. So take a big step back with your right leg this time. Find that steady stance. Inhale to lift the hands up above the head. Exhale, sink down into that lunge position. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale as you step the legs together and come back to the front of the mat. From here, we're going to come into lizard pose. So we're going to come back into that lunge, taking a big step back hands are going to go on the inside of the right foot so shuffle that right foot over to the side hands on the floor you can drop the um we're going to try and keep the back knee off the floor so we're not going to do a low lizard we're going to come up with that back leg so we're building strength again in those legs and we're just going to let that knee track forwards at the ankle and out to the side so if you need to come onto your toes more on that back leg you can reach the chest through and keep looking up. Don't look down towards the mat. The floor, the looking at the floor is the temptation here. Option here, if you're comfortable, to come down. This is impossible, but this is too easy. Feel free to grab a yoga block like this and balance on your elbows. It kind of offers a halfway point for those who aren't quite there yet. Find that position wherever you're comfortable. Remember to keep that back leg engaged, lifting the knee off the floor. Keep looking forwards and hold five, four three, two, one, and then inhale to come back up, step back to down facing dog, and we're going to repeat on the other side, so left foot comes forwards outside of the left hand, Try set up reaching the chest forwards, lifting that back knee off the floor, so shoot the ankle, uh, shoot the heel back, keep the knee, the thigh squeezed, so you're lifting that knee away, and again, find wherever your position is most comfy, on your hands or your elbows, if you can get there, and hold for five, four, three, two, 
one and then inhale as you come back up and step back to down facing dog and just pedal it out for a few breaths so you can probably feel that we've started to fire up the leg muscles and open up the hips for this posture we're now going to start working on the core and the arm strength as well so if you come back into that down facing dog position we're going to take a chaturanga or a low plank hold so step back inhale as you roll forwards to high plank option to drop the knees if you need to and then exhale see if you can hold hovering off the floor in your low plank or chaturanga position hold for three two one now come back up to cobra down facing dog we're going to do that two more times so inhale roll forward to high plank exhale low plank hold for three two one exhale release cobra exhale down facing dog last one inhale roll forward to high plank exhale low plank on three two one exhale release inhale press up to cobra exhale press back to extended child's pose and relax off those arms and shoulders. Figure of eight pose requires um, a lot of abdominal or core strength. So we're going to work on firing up our core next. So we're gonna come into a seated position and we're simply going to hold boat pose. So option here to place your hands on the floor in front, ideally, if not behind, if, if you need to. And then just think about bringing the knees in toward the chest. If you want to keep your hands off the floor, this is going to be much more beneficial. Think about keeping the chest nice and lifted, looking straight ahead, and then we're going to take the feet off the floor. And as we inhale, we're going to straighten our legs. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release. And we're going to do that two more times. So we're going to inhale to lift and straighten. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, tuck. See if you can hold the feet off the floor this time. And then inhale to lift again. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale. Relax. You should be shaking in that pose. It is quite difficult. It's building all your core and your compression strength. The final seated um, preparatory pose that we're going to do for figure of eight is called rock the baby. So it's another hip opener. Come to a seated position on your mat and you're just simply going to take one leg and you're going to hook the elbow around the outside of the knee and then hook the other foot. So place the foot in the, the uh, fold of the other elbow and just gently bring the shin toward the chest. Think about staying nice and upright rather than collapsing over the leg and bringing that knee as close to the chest as you can and you're simply just going to rock five to ten times from side to side just opening up, loosening that hip joint for a few deep breaths. Two more deep breaths for me in this position. Last one all the way in. And then bring that knee in closer if you can, hold, and then exhale, release, and we'll switch sides. So I've just done my left leg, I'm gonna now switch over to my right leg. So I'm gonna place the sole of the right foot in the elbow of my left hat arm, and then I'm gonna hook the right arm around. So you can interlace the fingers if you want, so you create that cradle, and then you're just bringing that shin in toward the chest, staying nice and upright in your seated position, rocking the hip, mobilizing it from side to side. Couple more deep breaths. And then relax. I'm now going to teach you how to get into the figure of eight pose. And we're going to start by using some blocks. So we're going to find um, that rock the baby setup with our arm that we've just done as a preparatory pose. We're then going to take the left arm underneath that left um, knee, if you like. The hands are gonna go shoulder distance apart and we're gonna use one block to start. So you're going to take the block, place it in the middle of the mat and sit your right hip on top of that block. You're going to take your hands then either side of that block, shoulder distance apart, 
through in front of the left arm. So you're going to find that crisscross position with the ankle. So left ankle goes behind um, right leg. And we're going to eventually stretch the legs out towards the side like that. So start with the feet quite close to the shoulder, to the wrists, and then take the left arm and try and find that rock the baby position with your left leg over the back of that left arm. So find that setup, hook that right foot over the top of the left. In our chaturanga position, onto, and this is where the strength comes in, onto our hands, further forwards than you think, so you're lifting the body away from the ground. You can keep staying on that block if you want, and then you're going to extend the legs out to the side and look towards the feet. So then if you want to, you can lift up off the block as well. And then slowly lower yourself back down and try the other side. So you might find one side's easier than the other. So again, hip, the hands, time the left leg goes out in front, right leg comes behind and you're finding that ledge position to balance your the um, right leg this time on the back of your right arm. Find that setup, cross the ankles, lean forwards with the body weight into that chaturanga position and then stretch the legs out to the side and you can use the block there to support or not, however strong you're feeling. So now you've kind of got the feeling of that pose. We're going to remove the blocks completely. And we're going to go into the pose without the blocks at all. So again, on the floor, find that setup with the hands, shoulder distance apart. And this time we're going to go back out towards the left with the legs. So the right leg's going to come through in front. You're going to find that ledge with the left leg on the back of the left shoulder. So find that setup and then hook underneath that. Lean forwards into that chaturanga position with your body weight further forwards than you think and almost press more into the right arm as you shuffle the legs out to the side. So push the weight more towards the right. Find that lift and then straighten the legs and take the eye gaze out towards the toes. See if you can hold for three, two, one, and then slowly lower yourself back down. And we'll do it again on the other side. So again, with the block to the ground, you're gonna take the hands shoulder distance apart. Left leg goes in front of right arm, right left ankle. Remember, right leg goes on the back of the right arm, so find that set up and the higher you can get that leg, the easier it's gonna to be to hold your weight. And then we're going to slowly rock forwards before we shake, straighten the legs, leaning over more towards the left maybe to begin with. Find that lift. Whoop. <laughs> if you can get be helpful. <laughs> so we're gonna rock forwards, find that lift, and then straighten the legs and look towards the feet and hold for three, two, one, and then just lower to release and unravel yourself. And there you have it guys, figure of eight pose. Have a go, remember to use blocks if you need to. You can use pil pillows as well if you haven't got blocks to support you um, and just work into it carefully. You've got all the warm up poses, get really good at those before you try this if you're new to yoga. Warm up those wrists well because it is an arm balance. And good luck, guys. Catch you later. Bye.